What's up guys? How are you? Welcome internet. Now this is going to be interesting because I don't have a way to show myself because I have my cameras here and I want to give you a breakdown of my Sony FX3 case. This is the Nanook 935, which I love in gray and we have the insert um, and we also have the added um, pouches here. So I'll start off with the pouch. Or should I start here? I'm not sure. Let's start actually where the fun stuff is at. Pouch is boring. This is accessories. We'll start off in this corner. So what I have here always is I have a color checker. I love making sure that we are all um, in sync, especially when I'm matching my FX3s with my other other cameras. It could be a red, it could be, you know, FX9s, although the color science is the same. I just make sure that we are all, um, in terms of color, correct. Um, and what we have here, this is an iPhone holder that sometimes I may strip down my FX3 and just go real bare. So this is great to use because I can use the uh, image app to uh, the Sony image app to check it out um, when I'm shooting. Uh, okay, so we got here is my my Sony ECM X1. I don't think they make these anymore. I got this one on eBay. I love it because it's it has the built-in cable, XLR cable, and it's short, and it just makes everything look nice. And um, here is an iFootage Spider Crab LT235. I have this one, and I also have their bigger one, which are amazing. These things, when you lock them, they do not move. And that is something that I really was looking for because I'm just tired of those arms that just sway back and then your monitor is flipping over. I can't stand that. So this, this alleviates that problem entirely. Highly recommend. And I'm gonna put all this stuff in the description. Um, again, this is another version. So I don't know when I'm, when I'm shooting, I don't know what I'm you know, up against sometimes. So if I wanna go real bare and nimble, I'll put this on the uh, natal rail of my camera on top. And, uh, and just go real simple and just put a monitor there instead of the arms. And obviously this is the FX3 handle. I have the small rig attachment here to make it longer and more beefier. So that's that. And in this case, I have four lenses. My first lens that we have here is the 1.855 prime and I normally use these three in in my interview uh, setups um, this is my tilt the handle that goes with my cage um, so yeah the 55 is amazing and I also have all the same style of lens the 85 1.8 so the 55, the 85, and then the 35. These are great in low light, 1.8. They are phenomenal. I know these are the cheaper versions. They have the GM Master, but head to head with the G Masters, man, you tell me if you could find a difference in terms of imagery. These things look great. So these are my three go-tos for, um, for my interviews. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. I carry six Sony FX3 batteries. And I have them numbered because I like starting at a number and just going in that sequence so I can continue the cycle, um, you know, correct and in order. Because, you know, these things have a life cycle of, you know, I don't know how many charges. So I try to keep all of them even. So that's that. And obviously you need media. So I have 
uh, well, there's a few of them out there. I think there's a few on the camera, but these are my V90s. I got three of those, and then I got a bunch of 128 V60s. These really pretty much do the job for everything that I need. And then my zoom of choice is always going to be the 24 to 105. It's just phenomenal. It's F4, but at full frame, you're getting bokeh all day long with this bad boy. So I also have the 24 to 70. I might just show you that as well if we have time. Um, and my trusty Ninja with these beautiful enclosures. I've got the Samsung T5 one terabyte uh, hard drives in these enclosures from Lunch uh, Andy City, I think they're called, yeah, Lunchbox. They're great. Now they have them in black, but I got them when they first came out. Condor Blue. Now these are good. The only thing with these that I'm a little bit upset about is that I cannot shoot at 60 to the Ninja. It's just not fast enough. So I have other HDMI cables that do the job. They're just longer, which are these. I don't know what brand these are. I got them on Amazon, but I know they work. So that is that. And yeah, the Ninja V, the Ninja V, the Ninja 5, not the V, not the Plus, that's the 4K one. So that's pretty much half of the case. We move on over here and I got two small rig uh, M160s that I picked up a while ago. These things are awesome. Not only are they RGB, but if you're in a pinch and you need a charger, your phone or something, you could get charging from this. This is an out. So that's great. And I have carried these two just in case I need to fill a little something here and there in the background. Obviously, I'm going to bring lights, but this is just good to carry with you at all times. And then, last but not least, two Sony FX3 bodies. And I have them marked A and B in the front and in the back, just so I know what I'm dealing with. This one, the B, doesn't have the handle on like the A does. So this is my A cam. I'll carry. I'll grab this one, running gun all day long. This one pretty much lives either on a tripod or a gimbal, um, and I'll show you that setup uh, some other time. But yeah, this is pretty much my case. Um, I love it. I'm about to show you my second part because not only do I carry this alone, I have to carry obviously some um, NDs, because the FX3 doesn't care, have that. So let me show you that in a second. So this is my secondary case that completes the FX3 kit. Um, I got this case on Amazon. I freaking love it. It is so durable, so nice, very affordable. And what I love about it is it has this strap where I put it inside of the handle of my you know my 935 and i just roll the whole thing on and it's sturdy stays there doesn't move so let me show you what i have in here there's quite a bit but i went along with the tilta mirage um mat boxes i just think them they're the most versatile mat box you could find for the fx3 not only are they super light, they have these vents here that are super cool. And if you ever decide to put your FX3 on a drone, the airflow will help it, you know, to be stable and not fly off or anything. So that's pretty cool. I like protecting my gear with these Tenba soft pads. They're really cool. You can use them for lenses, for any type of thing that uh, you need to, you know, put in, in in the case and I have to worry about getting messed up. So I carry two of these obviously because I have two cameras. So that's, these are the Tilta Mirage. I got my headphones here, obviously, that we need to monitor audio. And then I carry these 
USB-C cables, which are awesome because what's great about these is that they have an LED readout and it tells you when it's drawing. You're not, you're not there guessing if it's, you know, charging, whatever you're charging. I use these for everything. My, my MacBook Pro, my FX3. I just want to know what's going on at the moment and I'll know exactly when something is fully charged because it'll go straight to zero. Sometimes it trickle charges at the end, you know, and it's not fully charged because, you know, it's just, it says the lights are all 100%, but so it's still trickle charging because you'll see like a 0.9 something, but these are awesome for that because you always know that you're getting power to your camera and how much and how long it's going to be for it to fill up um, and get 100%. So these are awesome. So with those cables, I will use these um, bricks that are rated for my camera. And, um, you know, I could just be on power all day long, uh, especially if I'm doing like a corporate event or something that is gonna require me to have the camera on the whole time. I don't have to worry about batteries. I just use these. So I carry two of these and two of those cables and I'm good with that. So next thing, this is all power related here. Obviously my chargers, my Sony NPF batteries for my monitors and all necessary stuff to charge care of the batteries while I'm on set. So that's that. Um, these are lab concealer tapes that actually do not fit in my audio kit. I'll show you that one other day, but yeah, this is part of my audio kit that I have. I have the Sony kit, the dual receiver. It is amazing. It goes straight onto the camera, no handle, no wires, all digital. So that's part of that. I just don't have a space to fit it. And I'll show you that on another day, um, on the next uh, video, I'll show you the breakdown of that. Um, I think my dog wants to get out of here. You wanna go? Go ahead. So these filters are 95 millimeter and they go inside here. These are the filter holders. You just slap them into the Mirage and you're good to go. I also have the variable in case I cannot be changing on the go and I'm running and gunning. I use that. I don't like it as much because obviously it changes the tint a little bit. So you have to go in there and adjust the tint. These are solid and these are clear, beautiful. They don't mess around with your tent. So these are where I, you know, I use these for other, you know, more serious jobs, you know, more high end stuff where I'm, I'm not running and gunning. It doesn't really matter. I got one stop, two stop, three stop, four stop, six stops. And then these are some creative filters. This creates the blue streak, like a anamorphic. And this one is an orange streak. So the blue and orange. This does the straw, star cross pattern, and it shows you a little picture of what it does right there. Uh, the one eighth black mist, and you gotta have that for, for um, you know, um, just to maybe clear some blemishes on some skin, or if you have an, you know, an older person where you wanna like clear out some blemishes and wrinkles, this is really good. Um, this one is a star cross. I haven't used this one actually, but it looks super cool. Um, I would see this more for like a music video situation. And um, and that is it. And obviously we got the rings to fit on all the lenses, uh, threads, 67 all the way to 82. And that is pretty much my setup for the FX3. So that's my FX3 kit to sum up um and please stay tuned man this is uh this is new to me this is my second one second episode i took a little bit to do it because i was busy last uh last week um maybe i can show you some clips of some jobs that i did i just want to say a shout out to two people two youtubers out there that have influenced me greatly to to do this and that is david moorfield uh, shout out to David Moorfield, uh, Moorfield Visuals from Orlando. Um, we, we chat a bit some, from time to time and um, it's really, really, really cool to see what he's done with his channel. 
and also he i think he got inspired by the same other guy that i that i like uh, cranky cameraman um you know just showing the day-to-day -day life of a videographer or cinematographer whatever you want to call yourself uh i think it's really cool it's breaking the mold of hey guys i don't want to be that guy you know what i mean i just want to be natural and come off authentic and uh that's what i'm trying to do so stay tuned please subscribe like comment below i'm really trying hard to make this thing grow and the more that i see you guys in tune the more inspiration I get to continue on. So I'll see you on the next one.